And, and, and he would literally talk to me. He was a heroin addict, like my other father was a heroin addict. And he had honest conversations with me about drugs. He showed me friends from high school who used to be the man, and now they were literally living on the street because they were hooked on heroin. Th these real conversations that I wish every Black child could receive to know just what the pain of living in a racist society looks like when you are not prepared saved my life. It saved my life. My question is, where are you applying your Black excellence? We have black excellence everywhere, but I see the black excellence applied in looking fly and having Coach and Gucci and or 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 trying to have the perfect the perfect dance moves at the step show or or being the perfect basketball player. Like we don't accept mediocrity when it comes to basketball. We don't accept mediocrity on the football field. But when you get to the academics and the preparation for life, it's like, ah, oh, well, I'm just black. I'm just go, I'm just I just just going to get by. What are you talking about? I, mean, I thought you were trying to be excellent. If you're going to be excellent, why aren't you excellent in everything? I'm not making fun of you. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying, does anybody love you enough to be honest with you to tell you that you're going to be dead pretty soon? You're, you're not going to make it past the age of 45, where they, they not only will have the debt, but without the capacity to pay it. So 75% of them won't graduate. That's the graduation rate at Langston University right now. 25% of them that do graduate are going to be told, you made it, girl. You did it. And, but but to me, what's interesting is I would I would be the person who says, well, what do you mean that she, what do you mean you're successful? Like, what does that mean exactly? Because if I see you and you're not physically and mentally healthy, you're running back and forth to the doctor because your obesity has gotten out of control, your mental health is jacked up because you're going to work every day with people who hate you.